I'm Bev Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I sell the products used in this project and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I have the free detailed directions for this project on my website. You'll see where to find that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. This is kind of a fun fold. So it opens up and then you can set it on a table. It uses Daisy Lane and the coordinating medium Daisy Punch, which you can get together as a bundle and save yourself some money. And I am also using the Stitched Shapes dies. And I'm using the Daisy Punch that has been in our catalog previously. My inks are Old Olive and Crushed Curry. And I'm using the Perennial Essence Floral Centers, which are kind of a fun center. I'm using a square of the 2019-2021 In Color Designer Series paper. We've got these patterns of Designer Series paper in all of our colors this year. And I love every one of these designs now. So you get this design. I don't know what you call that, but kind of a swirly uh, design. You get some text. You get the gingham. And you get this herringbone diamond shape. And so I am using the Seaside Spray. This is 4x4. Four four. I have some Whisper White. This is really just a scrap. A piece of Whisper White that's 4x4. Four four, and a little bit more scrap. My card base is an unusual one for me, anyway. It's eight and a half by eight and a half squares. I'm scoring it in half both ways, so it's at four and a quarter. And then I'm turning it and I'm putting a score line. Hopefully, you'll get this. I'm putting the points of my paper in the track for scoring. And I'm scoring from the center to the bottom right corner. Then I'm going to turn it over so my diagonal is here. And I'm going to cut a little skinny V wedge. And I found that if I put this score line a little bit to the left of the track and the bottom a little bit to the right of the track, then when I start in the center and I go out, I've got just a little skinny wedge and then do it opposite. So I've really got this very thin wedge. Next, I've got my taggers for the stitched shaped dies. And I want to use the number one, the largest circle. And I need to cut out my circle from this square so it's opposite from the diagonal. It's a little bit tricky. I do need to fold this because my die cut machine is not large enough for the eight and a half width paper. But I don't want to cut this piece. So I am sandwiching my cutting plate between. I do want to be sure and get this right up against the edge because I don't want to get this caught up in my machine. And I just want to get this centered as much as possible. Double check that it's all tucked in, especially on this side. And roll it through. And then do keep this piece. We're going to use that. Now, just kind of to locate myself, I'm turning this back over, my holes on the top left, my solid piece is here. These pieces are going to fold up. And the reason we took this wedge is that when we fold here, we're kind of giving ourselves a little bit more room in there for, the, for that fold. And I'm randomly going to stamp this fern in old olive ink all around. Okay. 
Don't worry about stamping on the inside because we're going to be covering that up. And on that four by four piece of Whisper White, I'm going to stamp this stem. And I want the end of the stem kind of in the middle of the card. And it doesn't matter a lot, but I'm going to stamp it on some scrap. I'm actually stamping it on a sticky note. And if I'm ever going to cut things out, I usually cut out at least two or three. It's no more difficult to cut it out, and sometimes I think it makes it easier. And you do want to cut kind of on the inside of the line because the thickness even of the thin paper is enough to to leave a halo outline. I always keep the second um, mask in my stamp case so I have it available. And I'm just going to put that right on top. And I'm going to stamp the ferns a couple of times on either side of that. Now if you want to stamp the daisy, you could use either size of the daisies. I'm using the larger one to stamp right over there. And if that's not the way you like it, it's okay. We are going to be covering that up. This scrap of Whisper White, we're going to stamp the two daisies. And if you line it up with one of the one set of petals being straight up and down from your side, it will be easier to punch. And that's true of both of these daisies. So this is the daisy punch. I think I'm going to probably tend to call it the large daisy punch. And as you see, I always turn my punches upside down so I can see where I'm punching. And this is the new medium daisy punch. I forgot to tell you to cut out the small square of Whisper White with the number two stitched shapes. So I'll do that now. I'm going to Stamp my greetings. I selected the best moments in my life happen with you. Right in the middle. I was editing my video and somehow the whole ending of the video is not there. So I had to go back and recreate it. Of course, I am having to confess that because I had used the very last scrap of my gingham seaside spray designer series paper. So I am substituting with this one. And I'm just going to put that on the inside of my card. So if this is going to be the card front, I want to put the round piece that we cut out from there and basically I'm going to fit it in like a puzzle piece so that it has perfect placement for the inside of my card and then the stamped greeting goes right on the middle of that. I want to be sure to get this really well creased the placement of this piece is really strange. It's going to look like it's totally upside down, and it kind of is. I want to place this with the bottom of the stem going to this outside corner. And then I can put my daisies in. I don't want to be too thick. You could use as many dimensionals as you want. I'm using one here and I'm kind of rotating the petals a little bit to make that full. This one, this one you could use another dimensional if you want but I'm just going to put it flat on. And I 
begin rotating the petals a little bit because I do want to put on one of these perennial flower centers. These are very cute. The card is going to work. This is going to flip up here. So I want adhesive just on this section. And we want to fold it and match these corners. And then it works like that. And really this card, this part of the card can go any direction. Here's the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Just click the links and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! Click home near the top of my page and you'll find lots of resources. Under shop I have tips for online shopping, frequent shopper rewards, and products I offer to help you stay organized. Share my Evernote notebook for a nominal contribution. It functions as a fully searchable catalog. I offer a cardstock sampler, taggers to help you identify those dies with lots of similar shapes, heavy duty bags to store 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 paper, and a bow maker. Inspiration takes you to all my projects. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, what's special about Stampin' Up! stamps, and some of my favorite tools. Under Organization, you'll find catalog tabs, labels, and case inserts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit, color charts by Alphabet, Color Family, and Rainbow Order, products by Color, and RGB codes, and you can take a tour of my craft wall. More organization means more time for crafting. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. The team is made of crafters who want to save money on the products they buy, share with a few friends, or to grow a business like mine. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.